1600 reasons why Christianity is false. I want you to look at number one, folks. The Jesus Seminar. like if I opened with uh, with the fact that like um, you know why there why we will never find life on Mars and the f number one thing I say is well because the earth is flat and the moon chases the sun around the uh, the flat the flat square that the earth is The Jesus Seminar. So I hope not to see mythicism throughout any of this because not even the Jesus Seminar would accept uh, Jesus mythicism. Hell I already dealt with. Um, you know that Nordic pagan goddess that the English translators of the Bible um, bastardized and used to describe Chaol, Gehenna, Hades, and Tartaros, as well as some um, descriptive apocalyptic uh, places or metaphorical statements that got applied to the afterlife. Okay. I think I addressed this in another thing. Nature of evil nature of God. Ooh, that's a juicy one. Failure to return. <laughs> wow, what a Protestant view of things. Uh, just to let you in on a secret, Christ returns every Sunday. Um, that's why the Apocalypse of John is the, uh, is liturgical. Christian, early Christian, dumb superstitions. <laughs> what? Barred miraculous elements, the Ten Commandments. I thought this was about Christianity. Jesus baptized by John the Baptist. You know, they have their own sect. I know a bunch of them. They're called the Mandaeans. Delayed documentation of the Gospels. This is the easiest one to just crush. Um, Jesus purposefully confused outsiders. Uh, maybe in the Gospel of Matthew. Polytheism in the Trinity, the Shroud of Turin. Confirmation bias, God fails to give a clear message, animal rights, animal rights, wow, irony of the ages, belief versus actions, let's go with delayed documentation of the gospels, number 11. The accounts of the life in the gospel, the accounts of Jesus' life in the gospels were written well after the events actually occurred. The crucifixion of Jesus is believed to have occurred around 29 A.D. Incorrect. A.D. 29. 29 A.D. is nothing. It's A.D. 29. Best estimates of the early date of the Gospels are as follows. Jesus, uh, Mark 68 to 73. Matthew, oh wow, hold on. I don't know anybody who'd put any of these uh, at 100. Not to mention that we have a piece of 
It's called P-52. It's a piece of uh, papyrus, called, also known as the Rylands papyrus, that actually dates to this. So you're saying that we have a first-hand copy of the Gospel of John? That's your claim? The time lag between the events and the documentation is long enough for exaggeration, myths, blah blah blah. Okay, I'm going to give you another timeline. Mark no later than 65. No later. Um, and that's Mark as we know it now. Um, passion narrative is a lot older. Um, Matthew and Luke were in competition with each other. So Matthew, I'll put in the 70s. And um, Luke. 70s or 80s, 80s at the latest. John, actually, I'm gonna put very, I put very early. Um, why? Because he doesn't know that Jesus is supposed to be Jewish. He actually calls Jesus a Samaritan multiple times, and has no clue that he's supposed to be born of a virgin. So, no, the Gospel of John is extremely early. Um, not as early as Mark, though. Uh, and it's independent from the synoptic uh, ones. Um, so let's say, uh, and it, you'd say a twenty-nine A.D. No, thirty-three. Sorry, it's thirty-three. So thirty-three. Let's plus you know thirty-five years. That would be about. Mm, 60, 70, right? 60 or 70. Um, how long was it from now until the Vietnam War broke out? I know, I knew, a, uh, you know, just 15 years ago, I knew a lot of people who could remember D-Day like it was the back of their hand. Um, I still know people who know specific things about days that went on in Vietnam, you know, like at Khe Sanh. But you're talking about 12 guys who, um, their leader gets captured, was betrayed, and, um, was brutally tortured and executed in the worst way possible. And then three days later, they're two of afraid so they send the women back and the body is gone they couldn't remember any of the events right even though less time had passed I mean I don't even think earlychristianwritings.com uh, which is extremely secular would use a date such as this hold on uh, boom It's Isaiah. Too far, Romans. I mean, I could be wrong. Two most commonly suggested periods of dating the Gospel of Luke are AD 59 to 63 and two 70s or the 80s. Yet you have Luke 80 to 100. Huh. Even though that's outside of the norm. 
In fact, that's crazy and terribly outside of the norm. Mark. Um, date of composition. Some hold Matthew and Luke used Mark as a major source. Have suggested Mark may have been composed as early as 50 or 60s. Other others have felt the gospel and the statements made about Mark may be early, <clears throat> may be the early church fathers indicating that the book was written shortly before the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70. So right before AD 70. So 68 maybe. But uh, no, it was probably in the 50s. And as for that passion narrative, um, where was it? The passion narrative? Um, when does that date too? Because that's we're talking about the last chunk of John, right? Or the last chunk of, of Mark. Shoot. Where is it? That's just the passion narrative. 30 to 60. So. No. Not at all. These were written within a lifetime. And how we know is we actually pull manuscripts out of the ground that are earlier than these dates. Certainly the one with John, and the fact that we have variants of Luke all over the world at this time, like, that has variants in it, means that its, it's composition was far earlier than 100. Same with Matthew. Matthew was one of the most popular in the Gospels among the early church. They actually thought it was earlier than Mark. So this is an ultimate fail. And you put Christ's crucifixion at the earliest possible date. And you make John, you put John in the second century, which is so completely foolish that you totally forget about P52 known as the Rylands Papyrus. So, no. The time lag between the events and documentation is long enough, exaggerated, blah, 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 blah. No, not at all, because we had things like the Didache. We had um, writers writing about stuff going on with the apostles continually. So, no, remember the page that I showed you? Uh, yeah, all those people were literate in writing down. So, no. Alright, peace to you.